everybody on the ship. Oi, 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 yo. Super S Cup Final Battle rolls on and Jason Clinton Sensation, are you ready to work? Two of the favorites in the Super S Cup Tournament, one representing Turmoil, one representing Riot, but both representing the best in-ring work that we can give you, Chris Baxter and Sheldon Trimbley. I'm excited, Jake Allen. And let's take a moment to realize that Chris Baxter has been an OCW original since 2007. And even back then, he was the rated R superstar. We'll see him in 2021 from 2006 to bring his A game in the new generation and to hang with the new generation it is a sight to behold in it amongst itself. We talked a lot last match about the difference in experience levels between the rookies and the veterans. And uh, this match will be no different. However, both of these men did make it into the tournament, came away with no total points. But like I mentioned, captured the hearts of everyone watching in this intimate environment and across the world. Certainly got mine. You got damn right, Jake Allen. They, br they brought it, see. This Super S Cup not necessarily is about winning. It's about doing the very best that you can. And it's not a participation of trophy or, or an award. It's just the fact that both of these guys brought their A game in every match against high caliber opponents each and every week. And both men came close to victory. And the dictionary defines Sanctum as a sacred place. And there is no place more sacred for Sheldon Trimbley and the rest of Sanctum than the squared circle inside those ring ropes, Jason Sensation. That's where the magic happens if you're a member of Sanctum. You got damn right. Sanctum's also been on a roll. Owen, last week, ambition number five, like I brought up, up in previous, previously earlier in the show. Put on a hell of a performance in the main event with Chris Green. These kids got a future, Jake Allen. I'm so proud and elated for the future of OCW. We got what you call quote-unquote good hands. All spectrums of the imagination from the low card to the tippy-tippy high card. There's nothing but bright, shining skies for OCW in 2021 and in season 17. And as it turns out, we're getting a lot of future versus veteran matchups. This would be the third in the row. And you are right on the money there, boss. The future is bright. And we're going to lock up early. No surprise there. I'm sure a lot of respect between these two competitors that we will get a clean break. Here you go, baby. Respect, though. You love to see it. Lock up this time. Sheldon Trimbley does capture the arm. And this is what made Sheldon such a threat in the Super S Cup. And... What has uh, really put him on the map in such a short time here in OCW, only coming in in 2021? Yeah, he, Sheldon Trembley impressed a lot of people with his performances and his matches against, you know, high caliber opponents, holding his own against people you would assume uh, would be, you know, persona non grata, would be domination. But no, Sheldon just took it up a notch in every match he had. He went to the wire, down to the wire with John Carter, who had his own just amazing run to Super S Cup. And the wrestling battle continues. Another clean break. The things you love to see. Both of these men got a lot of great experience. And look out, scoop out of nowhere. And that's what happens. You leave your feet even for a second. Sheldon Trimbley gets scooped. Shades of uh, the first match <laughs> with Colin Locke hitting two big scoops. Scoop season never ends. There's the first strike of the bout, and we're going to get a vertical oh. suplex from Sheldon Trimbley. It's like a, it's like an old school Nintendo 64 game, Jason Sensation. We got all the slams. There you go. You got all the slams. You got all the beep beep doo beep doo kind of music. But that's the one thing I like about Sheldon Trimbley. He is fundamentally sound in the ring. He doesn't do a lot, anything fancy, but what he does do is impactful, is significant, and is effective. Oh, like look that. at this. Oh, my God. And that, I thought he was going for another suplex, and he dropped him down with a devastating, I guess, catch DDT. 
Shades of uh, another rookie here in OCW, Derek, and now locking in that neck crank, really putting on the pressure. And Chris Baxter got caught there. He tried to put Sheldon Trimbley in a front face lock, and you just don't do that. You, you just, oh, he came up short. He didn't judge the, the distance on that, but now he's the second chance. Another counter by Sheldon. This is going to be a pivotal moment for Baxter. Can he counter? Can he Baxter come up with oh! it? Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> Modified Pepperton Bulldog, baby. You love the Pepperton plunge out of the counter. And he picks him right back up into a dragon suplex. Now we're, we're holding down the A button for all the big ones here, Jason Sensation. <laughs> Back to the Nintendo 64 references. Big kick out there from Sheldon, and he is not done yet. Oh, the, both these guys like the super kick. Both of them like the super kick. I think the backer should have held, held when he did that suplex, but he chose not to. Might have cost some precious seconds. And there's another suplex. I feel like Sheldon can suplex you from any direction inside the ring using those big meaty hams. That Chris Baxter calls legs. Ooh, As you may, he's been around drop. OCW a long time. The Manhattan yes, drop. And now, oh, oh my God, Springboard off the second rope. And these two are not just wrestlers. They got a lot in their arsenal. Here's the cover one, no. And again, Sheldon able to get up quickly. You know, Chris Baxter is no spring chicken, but he's still fundamentally sound. He's always been, you know, he's been the beloved underdog for, for goddamn, I don't know how long. Like I said, 2006. He made his resurgence now in 2021, season 16, and he's been pretty much uh, on fire as of late in the hearts and minds of the OCW faithful. Oh, side slam, beautiful. And Chris oh, he's Baxter getting fancy. Now, what? Oh, and he wants to spring, but you called him no spring chicken. He's trying to prove you wrong. Tope Kangiro, here's the cover now. One from the outside to the inside, Baxter. Using all of that weight. I know he's a lot younger. Uh, he was a lot thinner in his younger days, but I think this weight gives him a bit of an advantage. That ain't always, he's always been a little, little, little round around the edges. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed but the beard length, baby. That's about it. <laughs> now look at this. Crossing over both arms after catching another snap suplex. Kirk's Baxter drops down the rookie. Here is the cover. See what effect that has. One, no. This is why this is the work rate match, Jake Allen. <laughs> this is why these two are on the pay-per-view. It's a big honor to be on the pay-per-view in this, I guess, weird nexus of an off-season, pro-season, pre-season kind of thing. So it's good to see. It's good to showcase some of this talent, some of the old and some of the new. Oh, big one. Big counter by Sheldon, Jake. Great, sh great shoulder tackle from Sheldon Trimbley. Got caught with that snapmare, so Baxter trying to throw off the equilibrium. Oh, and another oh, suplex. I don't know how to say suplex city in German. Maybe somebody can hook me up with that in the Twitch chat. Dropping the elbow, and Sheldon Trimbley's fired up. Da suplex. I don't know. Just, just winging it, dude. That'll work. There you go. <laughs> now both of these men back to their feet. Still a lot of respect here being shown. From Sheldon, one of the key members of the new faction, Sanctum. Can't wait to see what they do in 2022. Of course, joined by Owen, who we will also see later, and oh. James Frazier, the veteran. Bright futures ahead for those guys. And oh, my God. Oh, I thought we were going to get his sea legs, but instead we're locking in. He's got scurvy. He's got scurvy dogs batting down the hatches, who batting down the hatches. <laughs> And Sheldon powers out, breaks the grip. That's all you got to do. You got to break the grip. You'll be okay, and he broke it. Trying to crack Ooh. the neck there, and I think Sheldon wanted to go for that super kick. And you don't want to get in a place if you're Sheldon Trimbler where you're relying on that, that one kick too much. Stick to the suplexes, kid. They've been working. Yeah, the, the Harvey Hamilton approach. Get Will oh, look out. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Here, here's a cover. Sunset flip. And it's the Spider Special, and Bax has been around too long to fall victim to that boss. He's not falling to that, but, I, you know, Ted took all oh, both men thinking the same exact thing. That's what happens. Misconnect, misdirect on both sides. Nice takedown by the other assembly. I don't know, man. I think Ted took too long to, to count that cover. He backs a little bit extra time he needed. Down to the bottom rope goes Baxter. Rolls out of that one. Now Trimbley could be in trouble. And now how about a suplex from... Oh! The one they lady. called Davy Jones, so scintillating. Right out of the OG playbook 2007, calling your name, Jason Sensation. You know I love nostalgia, goddammit. 
Now Baxter has Sheldon to a knee. Sheldon not playing any of that shit. Couple of back elbows. <laughs> Dropping the headband down. Here and we oh, go. He's going to get it anyway. Swinging neck breaker. You call that rock, rock and roll pirate, baby. Tippy top, high red district, Jake Allen. What's he oh, thinking? I think Point we may see him. a cannonball. Oh, oh my no. God, no. no. The harpoon right through the guts of Sheldon Trimbley to cover. He still gets out at one. God damn. God damn, he hit him with the Bobby Dick, who? He, he dropped anchor on him. And he got it. And now Sheldon Trimbley caught once again. Ooh. And Uranagi, very innovative, picking him up from the waist. Oh. cannonball. My God, Sheldon Trimbley in a bad way right now. Can he catch his breath and get off the mat? And he does it one again. Chris Baggs was taking it. Both of these men shown. The OCW uh, faithful that they can go, they can still go, and they still got the juice. And Chris Bax is feeling it. He got the confidence back. First match in Super S Cup, a little shaky, but he got that confidence back. He's been going 100 miles an hour ever since. Oh, boy, you know what's <laughs> happening which, now. We, we, the airplane spin, Jason Sensation. What the hell does this move even do to a, a competitor? I don't know, man. It makes you dizzy. You can't stand up straight. You fall all over, and your equilibrium gets just... Gets dis Disturbed it did. Oh, nice takedown. Oh, and Sheldon, the one, looked like he's out on his feet after the airplane spin. Here's the cover. One, two. Oh, my heavens. And Bax was almost too dizzy to get his shoulder off the mat that time. <laughs> Bax is a little, a little confused. I told you, man, it's tough. It's really hard to pick your arm up when you don't know which direction you're facing because your brain's all in a tizzy. Oh, nice Ooh, Manhattan another, drop. Another Manhattan drop. Oh, my God. And he dropped a couple down there. <laughs> That dirty bilge rat, Sheldon Trimbley. Now he's oh, caught with the four. Here we go. Big counter. What is he oh, here? What the? Oh, my God. Chris Baxter <laughs> drilling a flip pile driver. What am I watching? You're watching some of the best of Chris Baxter right now. This could be it. This could be the win for Chris Old Baxter. Old school. Chris Baxter veterans trying to pick Two. up a third straight win. And they do. <laughs> oh, my God. Move over, here new stars. <laughs> The old adage always stays the same in those CW, baby. You already said it, Jake Allen. Move over to stars. The work rate match. We got way more for y'all. So stick tuned as the train keeps on running.